I will not talk about how Claude Code is the best thing to try out right now in your professional development, which you should try out, by the way. I will demonstrate how I started using the Microsoft Playwright MCP server for Claude Code to find issues that Claude Code couldn't probably comprehend by only looking at your code without actually running it. I am not going into too much detail about the installation of Claude Code. You will find abundant resources online and on YouTube. Rather, the focus is on the interaction with Claude Code focusing the Playwright MCP. The standard installation is truly simple. Just follow the documentation provided by Anthropic and you will have it available in your local machine in no time. Now head over to the GitHub page of Microsoft Playwright MCP and you will find the instruction to install it by expanding this specific section for Claude Code. So, after you've done all these, head to your project, open a terminal, write Claude MCP list, and hit enter. We should just double check if the installation worked and that Claude Code can find the Playwright MCP. Cool. Now that everything's set up, let's dive into actually interacting with it. I created a website for demonstrating how Claude Code, with the help of the Playwright MCP, can assist you in detecting problems in your website or web application. There is a banner on top, and I intentionally put multiple banners from the component of this Angular application. This is not directly put in the HTML template. Rather, it will be rendered dynamically when I browse the page. What I'm writing in the console now is, Use the Playwright MCP, browse the localhost port 4200. The dev server is running. Check for any anomaly or unusual behavior in the page after it loads. Also, open the browser while you do this so that I can see too. Log your findings in the terminal. Now let Claude Code do its magic. If you have already used Claude Code, you probably have noticed that you need to allow it some permissions that it would need on the fly. Now let's see the results. As you can see, it did detect that there are multiple banners. Claude summarized that the notification system needs investigation. It might be malfunctioning. Fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted to produce and demonstrate. If it can have extended capabilities with the Playwright MCP server and assist us more. Now what we can do is we can ask Claude to fix this for us. Let's write something like, can you fix it by removing the relevant code from the component that is causing it to behave as such? I want to make sure that Claude does not alter the working feature. So I'll add to my prompt, keep the original banner implementation and only remove faulty behavior. All right, I'm excited. Let's see this in action. Okay, I can see that it fixed the problem correctly. No more unwanted banners, only the one that was meant to be here. Now, one of the most common use cases for traditional websites would probably be checking the responsiveness of the pages. Let's give it a try. I will write, use the Playwright MCP and test the responsive behavior of the landing page. Also show me while you do it, don't use a headless browser. You can now see it in action. See how it's resizing it. Obviously, there's some UI element overflow issues, but what I can instantly notice is the breadcrumb isn't in the best place in smaller screens. This actually should go on top. Although, when I created this page using Claude, I did not instruct it to be responsive, I merely said to do a quick prototype. Um, the results are naturally focused on the responsiveness. But I'm curious, what would be a good prompt to detect this UX issue? So, let me write in general the breadcrumb should appear on top, right? Wouldn't this be a severe UX issue? I can see it's currently displayed below the images, which I don't find ideal. Thoughts? Okay, Claude agrees that this is a poor design for the breadcrumb part. It also asks if I want it to fix the UX issues. While I use Claude in my professional development, I constantly get feedback and advice from it. Till now, I have only gotten precise answers from Claude itself about its different features, prompts, subagents, and commands. So let me try this. I will write, not now, I need to know the prompt that I should have written that would enable you to find this sooner instead of me detecting this for you. What would be more efficient? Provide me a solid example. We got a prompt example from Claude, Eisen Kaidao. Looks good. Of course, in real life, I would have put much more points to it, but this is fine as a start. 
Interestingly, what it additionally wrote is, I did not ask it to evaluate the user experience. Sounds fair. I want to actually give it a try. Bear with me. Okay, it found some issues. I like the representation. But as you keep interacting with it and you create your own subagents commands, you will actually see a more dedicated and efficient version of Claude. Working from the terminal with prompts is just a scratch on the surface, and it does not justify the capabilities that you can unlock with the features that Claude Code offers today. That's it for today's session. More insightful Claude Code videos will follow. I will mimic how I work with this on professional large scale applications on a daily basis with subagents, commands, etc. Until next time.